Hello. We're going to be playing Shiran 6, the mystery dungeon of Serpent Coil Island today. And this just released um, today, actually. So, um, I actually did record like an hour, but OBS messed up the recording and it's unwatchable, so I'm restarting. So I skipped the intro. Um, just because it's a little long and the boss fight is not too interesting. Um, and you're supposed to lose during the boss fight, but if you end up beating it, you can skip part of the story. But I recommend losing the first time you play through it, just because it's like, I don't know, more fulfilling, I think. Anyway, um, the starting village only has a warehouse to start with, which is right over here. You can, um, if you have items, but you're not probably not going to have items during the main story the first time through. So, but basically it's a place where you can store items on the floor. But overall, the structure of this game is similar to Shiren 1 or Shiren 4 in the sense that it's a story dungeon where um, you can clear it in one shot. If and yeah, so um, I forgot what I was going to say, but Oh, right. I did play the Japanese version uh, quite a bit, so it's not a blind playthrough, but um, I'm going to try to explain as I go along some of the tricks you can do and stuff like that. And let's start by using live setting mode. And tutorials do pop up during the story, or during gameplay, which is a little, a little distracting, so I might like kind of stumble on words and stuff as they pop up. <laughs> it's really distracting. And one thing you'll notice pretty quickly is that enemies hit pretty hard in Shiren 6 compared to other games. So you want to use plenty of um, uh, what am I trying to say? You want to retreat to regenerate HP as you fight a lot more than, like, say, I don't know, Shiren 2 and stuff. Let's go ahead and... Oh, Invincible Grass. That's nice for later. And since we did find a shield right away, um, we can advance to the next floor, I think. But I usually, if I don't find a shield, I like to stay or uh, stay around the floor number plus two in terms of level early on. Like as a benchmark to um, how long you should linger and stuff like that. And Dragon Killer is a pretty good sword in terms of attack power, so we're gonna have a pretty easy time, I think, for a while. Okay. 
I think I will go ahead and maybe linger until level 4. Because Pump Phantasms still hit pretty hard, even with a shield on the 3rd and 4th floor. Well, I guess we do have a Giton bag, so we can one-shot one of them. Oh, Revival Grass already. And this looks like a item detector, or item find bracelet as the new game calls it. Literal translations, instead of... having any sort of flavor. And the way you pick up Giton, um, as you hold the B button to step on top of it, or like dash on top of it, and then swap it with an inventory item. Oh wait, I didn't need to do that for that, but... Good old armadillos, making you trip and drop items. Okay, I think we can keep moving. Lumber scroll for a blast shield. That sounds like a good trade. Let's go ahead and do that. Shield. This shield is a little stronger, so. Yeah, 9 damage with the shield. Normally they deal around 14 to 16 damage without a shield, so. Helps quite a bit. Life grass. And Pragos steal Giton, but they can't steal Giton bags in your inventory, so if you're at zero Giton, um, you can hunt them without worrying about them stealing your money. That one stole from us already, so it's has swift action speed, which means it can move two times per turn instead of once. And I'm going to try to linger a while since we have some extra food. Um, just because there's a shop coming up on the after we advance past this floor. So maybe if we can hunt like one more frogo, that'd be nice.
Oh, two. Even better. inserting poison grass. Since we can't take items out of it, I don't think it's a preservation pot. Um, it might be an ordinary pot or an identifier pot. But I want to save identifier scrolls for bracelets instead of pots, I think. So... And since there's a shop, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the Giton sort option to on temporarily. And do that. And turn it back off. Paralyzing staff is good. Um, Iron Shield might be nice, but it's only one defense point sh like stronger than a blast shield so I wouldn't say it's as essential. Counter shield has lower defense but it re reflects some damage back to the attacker. I think it's like 50%. Um, so it could come in handy to keep it instead of selling it. And since we can't synthesize items during the first attempt, because um, you have to unlock mixers and synthesis pot through side quests, um, I don't think it's worth like buying cheaper weapons that have positive upgrade value. You want to emphasize stats instead of that type of stuff. Like just high stat base equipment. Actually, hmm, it would be nice to upgrade our equipment once, though. So I think I will sell maybe counter shield. Should I? Nah. Yeah, let's sell it. Okay. I feel like we might find a better shield at some point, because 7 defense isn't that high, so I think I'll go ahead and Go for the dragon killer instead of a shield. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, fire ninjas can burn items on the ground. So this roamer 
NPC wants an identifier scroll for their bracelet. I think it's a fair trade. It would have been nice to actually like keep the identifier scroll for the bracelet, but looks like it's a growth or uh, fortune bracelet, as they call it in this game, which increases your experience points by one every turn. Luckily, we're not stepping on sleep traps, so that's nice. For some reason, they can appear this early in the dungeon. And HP regeneration speed is 1 HP per turn until level 10, and from level 10 it increases to 2 HP per turn. And hop in hitter, um, hits, or like has higher attack power than a lot of the other enemies around here. But I'm going to try to linger until I reach level 10 now since we have some food and a fortune bracelet. And receiving fire damage grills onigiri, and it's been, grilled onigiri has been buffed in this game, so it re replenishes 75 fullness instead of I think it was like 60 in Shiren 5. So it's actually a nice thing to have happen. Okay, we reached level 10, so I'll keep going now. This is probably a cleansing bracelet at this price.
Fix our confusion. Narrow escape. Some good items here. unfortunate. I didn't want to pay for that item because it's pretty expensive. Um, let's see. You can probably sell the fortune bracelet now. I guess let's check the rooms for items first, and then come back to that. Oh, it's a transmutation pot. Fortune grass. because it has resonance with Wolf's Head. Um... I think it's worth... switching over to Doltonaki then, for higher defense. But I want to keep the Dragon Killer as well. Just identify that to free up inventory space. Identify your pot. And we can go ahead and plate our wolf set, I guess. to use these right away because we're going to be saving them for the boss so I think I'll put them in the identifier pot and revival grass can go in the pot too oh can't afford that So we don't need the blast shield necessarily. Yep, 
Yeah. That was a pretty good shop. Sorry, that's my phone. Okay. So, mid Chintala's hit pretty hard. Um, but with this shield, like residence effect and stuff, we'll be fine. Type um, monsters are pretty uncommon, so it's not that good of a weapon. Although, there is a shop coming up pretty soon, so we could keep it for that purpose. Like to sell it for money. Not a whole lot to say. More items for the boss. Preservation pot would be nice right about now, but. Oh, did I not name the transmutation pot? Such a long name. or whatever they pronounce it as with that spelling. Um, it's supposed to be Kamaitachi, but um, would, it's basically the new name for Razor Wind or Breeze Blade. Um, it would, would be nice if we could synthesize, but since we can't, it's kind of pointless in this run. This is the Daily Mart, um, shields, that's kind of not that great.
since we already have a pretty good weapon and shield now. Six thousand for Fuma shield. Dragon Killer plus Fuma Shield would be a nice combination, but it's a little expensive, so I don't think we'll be able to buy it. I don't want to sell this pot because there's a Revival Grass in it. Um, Trap Eraser, don't exactly need that. If you break a pot that has Sanctuary Scroll inside of a warehouse, it won't stick to the ground so you can retrieve it, um, so that's nice too. Small trick to keep in mind. Pretty close, a thousand, but I might get this Kappa's dish instead, actually. Maybe, maybe not. Because what I'm thinking is, I might be able to farm, or like collect some arrows. But there are techniques you can do that don't require a special shield. Rust proof is kind of nice for the next area. Um, but I think we'll go ahead and switch over to the Fuma shield. Even though we'll lose the rust proof rune. Slightly stronger and freeze up one inventory slot, maybe. So, good enough. But since we don't have a lot of food, I guess I'll stay at the inn as well. One thing you want to do is go to the docks to um, begin the synthesis unlock event sequence.
Good old sleep traps. Hoping to find a board kappa. I think they spawn on the tenth floor too. I don't remember exactly. They don't, I'm not sure. I really thought they did though, but we're not seeing any, so I guess I'll move on. I think we already have two of them, so don't really need it. It's a little wasteful to eat it, but oh, there's a board kappa. That's good. I'll save that guy for later. Pixar scroll. Bye. 
Actually... These fortune grasses might come in handy. Even though there are masked samurai around. Um, This bracelet? Not really, but it is kind of nice. Sell that. Then we can let's see. Now we're at exactly zero Gitan, so we can read a fixer scroll and get a bunch of money and buy back some of our items. Soul to increase max HP a bit since we have two revival grasses. There, and we still have some money left over.
Um, we need to clear up even more inventory space. So... What to do? Let us eat this fortune grass. HP is getting pretty low, so I have to be careful. Could use a paralysis staff actually, if this misses again. Just step in place a little bit to regen HP. The downside of this technique is that it takes a long time with all the animations. start picking up the arrows. Um, oh wait. I think I need to be a little closer. So yeah, this is a way to collect arrows without relying on items like evasive incense or um, what's the new name of it? The fort staff item, earth mound staff I think it's called. It's a little complicated compared to those items but since it doesn't require any um, preparation other than like getting these monsters to line up properly. It's pretty handy. 
to know about it. Not a whole lot to say during this process because it's just tedious. But the arrows will come in handy later, so it's worth the effort. But, yeah, it is really boring. I don't know. <laughs> there isn't much of a way you can make this entertaining, I don't think. And, oh, we do have another slot. That's good. I think, like, 200 arrows is plenty. Um, one stack is nice, but 200 is, like, if you want to be extra safe. This game has a lot of, like, tedious harming techniques you can do, similar to this type of thing. Um, and I'll try to showcase another one pretty soon. Yeah, it's like the first time you do it, you feel pretty clever, but by the second or third time, it just is like, ugh, do I really have to do this again? And, well, you don't have to do it, but it just helps with consistency a lot if you do it, so. I don't know. I'm the type that if the game lets you farm or like collect arrows and stuff like that. I try to do it to some degree at least. I'm hoping to find another Masked Samurai and a Mudkin um, so that I can 
showcase the next technique. But we're at 500 turns, so we do have a little more time still. The wind doesn't blow until 1,200 turns. But I don't know if we'll find the setup in time. I'll stop at, um, once you have a second stack at nine, 99 arrows. Because I know this is pretty boring to watch. Perfect if we could just find a mudkin somewhere. Oh, there's one. Um, actually, I might have done that too close. Or it's, it might be too close to... There. Perfect. Oh, 
This might actually be too high of defense on the enemy's part. <laughs> but we'll try it. And we don't have a lot of time. If you could deal more than one damage, that would be nice. With uh, normal attacks, I mean. Because I don't, don't want to burn through all of our arrows that we just collected. See how bad the accuracy for projectiles is in this game. I think it's like 84% if I read it right on the wiki. I'll save 99 arrows for later. Level 20 is the important like threshold to reach because that's when an HP regen speed increases to 3 HP per turn. Um, going above that isn't too important. I guess we could collect more arrows on the next floor too, but I don't know. But yeah, this is one way you can level up without um, risking much if you have the items like paralysis stuff or paralyzing stuff. And we're starving, but since nothing is actually going to threaten us in this spot, 
I'm gonna let it drain HP a little bit before eating the onigiri. And the wind um, occurs at 1,200, and then after another 100 turns, it blows again. And then the third warning occurs after that. So, you like you don't have to rush to the stairs right away when the first wind blows, but you want to hurry pretty soon afterward. Oh wait, there was a peddler? That would have been nice. I think after I defeat this one, I'll descend. Actually, maybe one more. up most of our arrows, but we're level 24, almost level 25 now. too concerned about letting ghost samurais wander around because we have some stabs. another village of some sort and there's a what do you call it blacksmith as the only facility um, not that it makes a big difference but I'm trying to decide which one I should upgrade Oh, got the lucky chance. Plus three instead of plus one. Thank you. 
Okay, well, I think I'm gonna take a break here because it's running over an hour now. But the next part um, should be pretty quick to be uploaded to. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I got to show off some arrow collection and level up techniques. The run is going really well so far, so anyway, we'll see you next time.